yes, I look very, you know, ready for a wedding. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so good in this. Like, I really feel like I'm going to get married or something. But anyway, so as you can tell from the way I look, um, I'm doing a Indian kind of bridal inspired makeup look. It's very full on. Like, if I were to get married, I feel like this is what I would look like. If I, would, if I were to do Indian wedding, I don't know. This is just stunning. Anyways, look at this piece right here. Like, this is just stunning. Like, I wish I could just show you guys how, like, shiny it is. And then necklaces. Um, so, the so the jewellery set has kindly been... Pro oh, I need to sneeze. Woo! <laughs> so, the jewellery set has kindly been provided by Sokoro Jewels. They are on Instagram and they were so lovely to... Uh, let me this jewelry set for this video and oh my goodness their jewelry is just stunning it looks like in those indian wedding magazines um it's really good quality very heavy like you can feel it's good quality um so yeah they are on instagram so make sure to give them a follow and check them out they've got stunning jewelry like they're one of the accounts that really caught my eye when i was looking for indian jewelry because they have such beautiful sets so thank you to Sokoro Jewels for providing this set for this video and making this video possible um the outfit is actually my mum's this is just I don't even know from from I think it's from India actually I was saying that I do want to do more kind of like Indian wedding makeup tutorials maybe a South Indian bridal look um I did live in Chennai for like two years which is in south of India and I feel like um I I just know just my time there really inspires me to kind of do a South Indian bridal look as well so let me know in the comments below if you do want to um, see more videos like that and I will, will also include a poll be honest you can say no I don't mind <laughs> you can be real with me and um, before I go today's post notification shout out goes to SK thank you so much for the sweet comment um, if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and when you have done so comment in the comments below when you have and I will I, you know you can be the next one um, and I also do people who show a lot of support and who have been supporting me for a very long time because I do you know remember you guys and I do appreciate all the love and support honestly it means a lot to me and it really like to be honest you guys know I was in a rut and like your comments like had such a huge impact on me and the way I felt like especially when I went back to filming and all your comments like literally warmed my heart up and really motivated me so you guys don't even know how much of an impact your comments and support have on me um so I really really appreciate it so thank you so much and I hope you guys will enjoy this video and I will stop blabbering Okay, so I'm just filling my brows in. Should I zoom you guys in? Then I'm going to use some of the L'Oreal Brow Plumper in medium dark. There's everyone's McDonald's. Dude! I need to get another battery because I'm running out of battery. Okay, so my brows are done, I just need to carve them out. Before I do that, I'm just going to use some of my Clinique Prep Start. It's, an, it's actually a night mask, but it's super hydrating. Okay, so I'm going to use some of my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer. You guys know the drill. That just really like cleans it up. So I really want to do like more like wedding, Indian wedding kind of things because I just love, to be honest, I don't really go to much weddings myself because all my family is like in France and we do more like, um, like church, Christian, Catholic weddings. So I don't really see, get to go to a lot of Indian weddings. But I really like, I know that a lot of you guys do and I want my channel to be a place where you can get inspiration or you know some help with uh, getting ready and stuff because you can totally do your own makeup for your wedding like there's nothing wrong with that so kind of just really cleaned it and I also really like the creativity that goes behind these type of videos like getting dressed and stuff like that um, so yeah, I really want to do more. I definitely feel like really glamorous. I'm going to stick flowers in my hair just to make it a bit interesting. I literally went and got out some little daisies. I don't even know if these are called daisies, but daisies from my garden just to stick them in my hair at the end. But obviously if you have pretty
prettier flowers, stick those in your hair. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Just as my base. Yesterday I was supposed to film this video but I was not really motivated. So what I did is clean my brushes so that I know that I, if I see clean brushes that I feel more motivated to do my makeup. So yeah, I did that. And I did ask you guys on Insta story um, if you would like a soft wedding look or a more dramatic one and a lot of you said dramatic but it was very close so so I'm definitely going to do both I just didn't know which one to do first the eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to use in this video is the new Huda Beauty one I just felt like last time I wasn't really able to play around with it so what I'm first going to do is use I think I'm going to use the shade Henna first, which is this shade right here. Press this on the outer corner. I'm then going to use the shade Coco right here. I'm just going to take a black truffle right here and blend that on the outer corner. I feel like when I use a cardboard box it really helps with the blending. I'm now going to mix Blessed and Moonstone together, these two right here. Sorry, not Moonstone, Moon Dust. I'm just going to wet it as well. I'm just going to put this all over the place. These two shades together are actually so pretty. Pretty. My thing is like going all the way to the side. I think I'm just gonna remove this for now. I'm gonna use some of this Saint and Sinner Primark liner. Today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lashes in Scarlet. So now I'm going to use some primer. You definitely want some primer for your base. So I'm pushing it out of the way. I'm going to use the Smashbox Primerizer. I haven't used this in a while. I'm just going to give this a really good shake. I would go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I'm just is gonna go mostly in the center of my face. Such a unique smell, in my opinion. I like that we've prepped our skin. You can see my lashes are already. Okay, 
I'm just gonna let those dry and then play around with them. I'm gonna use my uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Correct in Orange. I know I look a bit crazy, but trust me, this really helps to get rid of any darkness and just makes it look really even. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation. I always get asked which foundation is my favourite, but it's definitely this one at the moment. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty brush. And I'm just using my sponge to press on top of the corrector so it doesn't budge. I'm then going to use my Conce Makeup Revolution Concealer in C10.5. So I did put a bit about around my mouth just to make that center of the face look a bit more brighter. I'm also gonna take the Bare Minerals Bare Pro concealer in deep neutral. Contouring. Just using my beauty blender just to blend it out and you just want to take your time with this like don't try to rush it just slowly blend and it'll just like diffuse nicely don't worry about your hairline um yeah like it can get a bit messy but you just use some brow gel afterwards to kind of like set it in place and put it back in place Using this brush from Glam Doll just to get more precisely, like a more precise contour. So I'm just using a smaller eyeshadow brush just to blend in those contour out. I think it makes your nose look more pinched. Look at that. Okay, now we can go on to powder. I really want it to kind of look really bright, so I'm just gonna use some of my Australia's banana powder. This really, this is actually really nice to like really brighten. I'm just gonna use that underneath. I didn't like this powder at first, but I feel like when I start to play around with it, it's okay. Might put a bit of my Kat Von D one as well. I don't want no creasing. I 
and I feel like when I wear like I know I put a lot there but I feel like when I put um like Indian gowns and stuff especially like a full-on sari I get so hot I'm just gonna use a little bit of my sleek, sleek contour kit in medium I'm gonna pop some blush on. This is one from MAC Desert Rose. I feel like MAC blushes work best with like actual bristles, like goat bristles. I think these ones are goat. Like they don't really work with synth synthetic brushes. For highlighter, I'm just going to use my Primark Pure, Pure Glow highlighter. Just look like that. It's so beautiful. I actually don't know what colour lip to go for right now. This is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm in Golden Glow. I love to put this on top of highlight lately, like it's just so pretty. Like just take your beauty blender and just pop it on top of any highlight. It just makes it look more like skin. Maybe if you have like really oily skin, skip this step, but if you have like really dry skin, Oh my god, like, what are you waiting for? You need to do this. So pretty! Okay, so what am I doing next? My uh, lower lash line. I need to do that. I don't know what to put. I think I might just go in with the head now. go in with some coal Then you want to go back in with your liner and go over your lash line. If you're going to wear lashes, make sure you do this step because you just want to make sure that everything's neat. Really like I'm going to like bring it into the inner corner. to make it more like joined up you can totally skip this step but i always put mascara on my lower lashes i actually don't have that many red lipsticks so what i'm going to do is try these two i don't know if it's going to work so this is the huda beauty liquid matte in heartbreaker and huda beauty lip contour in the same one i think cheerleader actually
Yeah, let's put the flowers in, shall we? Stick it in. Oh, look at this, so cute! I actually improvise a lot. I used to use earrings as tickers because I didn't really have much Indian jewelry. This is this has been so fun. Like this definitely made me feel like more motivated to film. You guys know I've been in a rut, so so nice. Alright guys, so that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I had so much fun. This video has motivated me so much to just get creative and you know do more cool videos. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and I will include a poll and let me know if you want to see more Indian kind of themed um, videos. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching guys. I literally feel like I'm gonna get married, you know, who knows? Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.